Well, I think one of the big mistakes that dealers are making in today's transparent automotive shopping world is that they're still holding on to some of the ways that we used to do things in the past, which quite honestly is making a lot of decisions based on gut instinct and recent sales data, instead of using a broader set of information to make more intelligent decisions. So a couple of examples that pertain to pricing as well as stocking. So on the pricing side, we typically see dealers tend to price in one of three different ways. They just would simply list their MSRP or MSRP less rebates, or perhaps they would sell an invoice less rebates. And then other times we'll see dealers where they'll sort of what we call flatline discount across the entire model. So if I was a Hyundai dealer, I would discount all of my Hyundais at $1,500. And we believe that in today's you know much more efficient market where margins are very, very thin, Dealers need to be looking for opportunities for where on some cars, maybe they don't have to necessarily give up a $1,500 discount if they understood that I'm the only dealer in the market that has that particular trim combination that's a fast turning desirable car. I might not have to give away as much money. So we're trying to help dealers really use data to be more precise in how they're pricing their inventory. And I'd say one other big opportunity for dealers to get better is in the stocking side of things. So I think a lot of times dealers believe that you know the factory is not necessarily building the right cars or asking them to take the wrong cars. But there's a few opportunities throughout the month where dealers can really enhance their inventories. And one of which is dealer trades is a pretty big issue. Um, anywhere from 25 to, I've heard as much as 40% of all retail sales require a dealer trade. So this becomes an ongoing activity in the dealership where if they had more precise understanding of which cars are hot and which cars are not, they can continually enhance their inventory as the month is going on. Well, I think we can all agree that technology has clearly made a huge, huge impact on the industry, and it's certainly made the shopper much more efficient and much more educated. And so I think dealers need to begin to embrace more technology opportunities to become more efficient and more intelligent in their decision making to sort of better compete with the, the very competitive landscape of today's auto shopping marketplace that uh, dealers are up against every day.